kind of get a feel for where this is going, right? I hope you do by now. You know, we've gone through history. We've been, uh, uh, we've been growing up anyway. We, did, we didn't put much effort in our own emancipation. But you're actually hearing from people who managed to get themselves free, <laughs> educate themselves, and then go back and fight for those people they left behind. So, you're going to hear some more and get stronger. The next piece you're going to hear is, I like to call, is a cheerleader speech. Uh, because it's Frederick Douglass again. And he's now calling out the slaves. Lincoln had just signed the Emancipation Proclamation. And now he's calling out these free men to go pick up arms and fight for themselves. 200,000 of them did, and 20,000 of them died, men and women. You're about to hear Ronnie Bowman deliver that speech.
and to rise in one bond from social degradation to the plan of common equality with all other varieties of men. Remember Denmark Vesey of Charleston. Remember Nathaniel Turner of Southampton. Remember Shields Green of Copeland, who followed Noble John and fell as glorious martyrs for the cause of slaves. Remember that in a constant with oppression, the Almighty has no attribute which can take sides with oppressors. The case is before you. This is our golden opportunity. Let us accept it and forever wipe out the dark reproaches unsparingly hurled against us by our enemies. Let us win for ourselves the gratitude of our country and the best blessings of our posterity through all time.